In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own do-it-yourself backup power system that you can use to charge up cell phones or any devices that you have that have a 12 volt DC adapter for them. Uh, the, we're, we're using a, a group 31 uh, sealed battery. This is a gel cell battery. It has a 100 amp hour rating at 12 volts DC. I'm also using an inexpensive battery box. These are available at uh, just about any Lowe's or Walmart type places. They're fairly inexpensive. I like them because they're easy to work with. In this case, I've drilled a hole and I'm installing a 12 volt DC outlet into the cover. So this is going to be our main source of DC power. It's fairly simple to install once you've drilled the hole. Tighten up the bulkhead nut. All right. Now on the back, it's marked positive and negative. I've already pre-crimped the connectors. In our earlier videos, I have shown you how to do that. So the red is it has an inline fuse. This is a 15 amp fuse, which is typically uh, the size fuse used in an automobile uh, DC outlet. We're going to connect the positive to the positive terminal, the negative to the negative terminal. All right, tighten that up. Now, we're going to connect the positive here to a battery positive terminal. Oops, come out. And we're going to connect our DC negative to the DC post. And of course you will want these tightened down with a wrench and don't rely on finger tight. Put the cover on. Now we have a nice portable uh, power supply. We can use whatever um, types of DC appliances or lights or chargers that you would use in an automobile would use the same connection. As an example, here's an adapter that will let you connect five uh, separate USB ports onto the one connection. So in this case, uh, say a power outage or, or off-grid weekend retreat, you can take this with you, fully charged, and uh, you can operate and charge up uh, multiple cell phones or LED lights or any of the smaller portable DC appliances. The uh, next level that we would use is uh, adding a solar module that can charge up the battery and um, that way you can operate it pretty much continuously without grid power.